Hey YouTube, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Check this out. That's the Orlando Camper Trailer with 33 LED lights. An awesome build, but really super, super challenging. Even the trailer itself without LED lights is already a big, big challenge. You wouldn't believe this. A ton of functions. And difficult to control. I'm not a trailer driver. A ton of functions. Brake lights, reverse lights, hazard lights, and more lights. It's really a challenge to build this trailer and in this video series i will show you how to build this trailer i will build the trailer and then install the 33 leds show how to solder smd leds and all the hassle that's coming along with this because this was probably the most difficult build in my life and since building this trailer is so complex and such a lot of work and of course also installation of the 33 SMD lights, I decided not to do this in one video, but I make a video series out of 10 parts. And in the end of each video, you will find a link to the next episode or the next part. I hope this will work. It's the first time I try this. Let's start. So here it is. The Orlando trailer, it's a huge box. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And here's the manual. Let's take a quick look at the manual. Page one of the manual, nothing special. What do they say? The usual parts you get a lot a lot a lot to build get the usual screwdriver of super bad quality for the wheels hex a wrench second wrench sticky tape and we will need glue adhesive probably glue too yeah, that's it. And then the usual Orlando step-by-step -step instructions. Always quite well. Here on this page, a lot, a lot, a lot of LEDs. I will have to count those. And here again, LEDs. Finish. More like a static model than a RC model. But there is nothing about the LEDs okay here they say you need the D4L radio okay and the D201N light control set and LEDs but nothing about how to
connect the LEDs. Here on page 20, they show you how to mount the light control set and the switch. Page 19, two LEDs. And on page 14 and 15, a lot of LEDs. I have to count those. Okay, so what we will need is an Orlando T20L light control system, which will work with the D4L radio. So we need a D4L radio to control this light control system. And this light controller does not come with a manual, but I found it online. So let's check it online. So that's the manual of the D201N, only two pages. And at least here you find how to connect the LEDs, battery port, switch port, bind button, reverse light, brake light, right blinker, left blinker, headlights, common minus two plus, and auxiliary lights. However, several of the LEDs probably have to be connected in parallel here. What else does this super short manual say? We will see. When I mounted page 2, Doesn't really say a lot. The voltage warning. Okay, not very detailed instructions. And we still do not know how many LEDs we need for the trailer. And therefore I counted the LEDs in the manual. So here on page 14 and 15, a lot, a lot, a lot of LEDs. I marked all those LEDs to be able to count them. White ones, orange ones, yellow ones, and few red ones. And here on page 19, two white ones. So if I count it correct, we will need 15 white LEDs for the trailer, 6 orange LEDs, 8 yellow ones and only 2 red ones. So now we know how many LEDs we need and what LEDs we need. The LEDs that are used in Orlando's, you can buy Orlando LED sets. Those are 1206 LEDs. Those are 3.2 millimeter by 1.6 millimeter. Not the smallest one, by far not. And I will show you later how to solder those. But of course, you do not have to buy Orlando light LED sets, which are quite nice to come with wires with. 36 coach Teflon coated wires in many different colors and the LED set does also come with the with the white LEDs with the four millimeter quite special LEDs quite hard to find and super expensive normally we use three millimeter and five millimeter you would need two of the LED sets to fully light up the trailer Depending on the price, how and where you can get it, of course, you can. What is it? 1206 LEDs 
Those are super cheap SMD LEDs. You get them everywhere, depending on what solution you prefer to buy two LED sets or to buy LEDs and wires separately. The wires, that's called 36 coach Teflon coated wire, AWG 36 Teflon coated wire. You get this stuff from Hobby King. I love those wires for small LEDs, SMD LEDs and for small trucks. And some years ago, I only knew it from Hobby King. I buy it for more than 10 years now. But meanwhile, you can also get them from AliExpress. They come that way in Hobby King. From Hobby King, you get it in a bag. You can buy, I guess, three and five meters. Super cheap stuff. But I only found white and black and red Teflon coated wire so far. And in the Orlando kit, you get a lot more. You get many, many different colors. A lot of wire, a lot of LEDs. So probably that's the way that's easier. So two Orlando LED kits or 15 white LEDs, 12 zero six six orange ones eight yellow ones and two red ones you can buy everywhere and you can use wire you want you could probably also use copper enameled wire or whatever <laughs> 